So next is question number two. Why did it happen? I remember Mr. Smith. He was the elderly man from Florida with lung cancer who arrived in the unit after a right lobectomy. We went back and checked, and we couldn't find a standing order from the ICU doctor to stop administering the antibiotics. So, unfortunately, the antibiotics were continued, even though they weren't needed. And we have talked before about the problem of poor communication during handoffs, so even if there was an order to stop, it could have been missed. We could have an automatic stop order generated from the pharmacy for our post-op patients. Okay, so we've just named several contributing factors here. Number one, no standing discharge physician order. Number two, lack of effective communication at handoff between the ICU and the floor. And number three, no automatic stop order generated in the pharmacy.